Hey, good afternoon viewers. You are watching Balgari Kitchen and today I have some very great meal for you in my YouTube channel. I'm going to uh, teach you today how to make some uh, stuff uh, uh, Nina pita bread with some vegetables and uh, this this meal is very great and it's very delicious. For this I'm going to use uh, two pieces of uh, uh, Nina pita bread. Uh, as uh, as viewers as you're watching our youtube channels and i promise you to teach you a lot of uh, different cuisines uh, from all over the world from different uh, food and uh, and uh, from salad from uh, soup and from dessert uh, from main course so today i'm going to make you some stuff nina bread uh, with some vegetable which is very very delicious and uh, you will love it you will uh, don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and uh, please uh, thank you for uh, uh, watching our youtube channel for this recipe the ingredients are pita bread nina two peas mushrooms uh, some coriander leaves some salt red onion I'm going to use emmental cheese, I mix uh, color red capsicum, some of garlic, uh, black pepper, and samak powder, olive oil, and HP sauce. So, before we start, uh, I'm going to put uh, my Nina pita bread in microwave for at least uh, one minute to make it soften and because it's already frozen so let's start with our ingredients uh, start cutting with uh, some slice of uh, red onion and uh, and then I'm going to cut uh, my mushrooms also in the same way slice cutting uh, mushrooms after that i'm going to slice my garlic also in slice i'm not going to make it chop i'm going to make it slice i love garlic in my cuisines and then some uh, roughly chop uh, coriander leaves uh, not going to chop just fine chop just roughly chop and then uh, i'm going to uh, cook and put oil and uh, garlic and onion together make it uh, saute uh, saute until the uh, our onions are done and not make it brownish uh, add the uh, mushrooms together and then keep saute for another one to two minutes keep stirring on with high flame then i'm going to add my bell peppers which i cut already in uh, julian so then keep stirring for another uh, one minute until our uh, uh, vegetables are uh, cooked keep stirring and then i'm going to add our spices um, uh, one by one uh, so first of all i'm going to use my hp sauce so here you go hp sauce and i cooked uh, nicely again and stir stir keep on stirring then i'm going to use my black pepper look at this black pepper and after that keep again stirring i use my samak powder and uh, salt also then keep stirring for another some minutes so until it's uh you will feel the aroma and it says um, our vegetables are done then in the last uh, i'm going to add some coriander leaves so it gives you more aroma and give you more uh, colorful and then i'm going to cut my nina bread into half with the help of knife <coughs> cut into half from this way or you can uh, shape it on different cutting and then uh, you can see uh, i'm going to stuff uh, the vegetable uh, inside uh, my nina pita bread uh, you can use uh, with the help of fork or you can use a spoon and just fill it uh, with some vegetables then add some uh, coriander fresh coriander leaves on the top 
and then add some uh, emmental cheese i'm going to use emmental cheese you can use also uh, different kinds of cheese uh, cheddar cheese also goes with well and then i'm uh, going to grill it uh, or toast it is for uh, one minute at least uh, with the uh, high heat and you can see i'm going to use uh, this uh, grill this is uh, almost uh, ready now our bread you can see uh, on the top is uh, coming crispy and toasty and then i'm going to cut my bread into uh, different sizes you can make it in three uh, three um, three half or it's up to you how you're going to serve it how you're going to take bite sizes whatever uh, sizes and then i'm going to arrange in uh, my plater uh, look at the stuff uh, beautiful stuff you can see the vegetables are uh, good and giving smoky flavor and and then our dish uh, nina pita bread is ready i'm going to serve with this one with sweet chili it's very good uh, goes with sweet chili you can uh, use any other salsa any other sauces also uh, so don't forget to subscribe our channel keep watching our channel uh, please subscribe share to friends and family uh, and thank you so much for watching Balkari Kitchen.